Okay, we're back. Take our system, hook everything back up. We'll start with the waistline. That goes in here, it's red. Put our little clip on it. That's done. Okay, the water line comes from the faucet. Shove it in, pull it off, place the clip on it. Did this one even have a clip on? Nope, this one did. Not sure. There we go. It's locked into place. This goes to your water tank. This one here comes here. Clip on that one. Oh, never try that at home. Pull out, put the clip on there. Okay. All right, it's flowing this way. Actually, yep, that's right. Then we got this one. It comes out here. It goes to here. Make sure we did that right. Follow the flow. Out. Oh. Goes to the tank. Doesn't look right. Actually, that's wrong. We're going to make sure we do that right. I don't want to be teaching you the wrong way. This is actually going to the tank because the water, which way it flows. So it's going to go into this one. actually going to the faucet. Hey, I'm just a guy fixing mine too. Just goes to the tank. This one goes. Did I just do it backwards? Let's... Yep. Flows <laughs> to the reserve. This one goes here. This one goes here. You want to have the one going to your from flow all the way through. Goes up to your um, your faucet. The one that comes off of this one goes to your tank because it's actually going to press it into the tank and store it when not uh, drinking it. Okay, that's it. Now you're going to bleed the system for about five gallons. So you let it fill up the tank and uh, if you have an air pump you can just dump the tank and air push it back up to through here this little thing, you take it off and pump it up to five pounds to seven pounds, screw it back on, and it'll pressurize back up. But other than that, we turn the water on, check for leaks. Slowly. It's filling up the first cartridge. Second cartridge, I can hear it going in. You can actually hear it draining. Now I just heard it going to the membrane. Turn the, I guess it rinsed the bad stuff out of the system because it's not longer going down the drain. We'll turn on the tank. You should see it come out of the faucet. 
There it is. That came out kind of black. That's just the carbon. That's good. We'll rinse all that out here. We're going to do five gallons of water. We'll fill up the, the uh, tank. We'll drain it all the way down. We'll fill up the tank again. Drain it all the way down. We'll do that five times. And there you have it. We've replaced all of our filters, including our sediment filter, uh, two carbon filters, the membrane, and the odor uh, filter. And I've done it all for about 50 bucks. I got the sediment filter, all the filters in a kit from a guy on eBay uh, in Santa Ana, California. He said he gave me free shipping off about 50 bucks. That's cheaper than anywhere I could find it. Everything's working fine so far. Uh, good luck. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and return this back into the... We have a line here that I've already ran for the ice maker. I'll be hooking that up. Uh, I was waiting until after I got this sediment set line cleaned and everything ran through. Then I'll run it through to the ice maker. Alright, we'll go ahead and place this all back in without damaging. We're checking for leaks. We're looking for stuff that might be leaking. We have the uh, filter going up here, draining the system. Um, and we're going to go ahead and place that back into its housing. I may move this hose around simply because it's in the way. Let me just go ahead and do that. Turn that off. Turn that off. I'm going to release this line here just because it's in the way. A little water might hit the floor, but I'm not worried about that. <clears throat> Again, I'm ready to mop anyway, so there we go. Put that in there. Makes for a better fit, fitment. All good and lined up. There we have it. And if I can do it, anybody can do it, right? That's the old mantra. All right. There we have it. Okay, I'm spotting a little leak here. Check for leaks. Push that in, pull it out. Good. Check again. No more leak. Let's dry all that off. There's an old trick you can do, and I'm going to do it. We're going to dry everything off really well. Then we're going to place paper towels underneath the system for about two hours, three hours. We'll come back every hour and we'll check after we make sure we dry the system off. We'll make sure that we don't have any leaks. And that's what I'm going to do. Place it over there like that. Dry it off good. Then we're going to place some paper towels underneath it. And if we see any water on the paper towels, we know we've got a leak. Here's the paper towel trick. Trying to filter back on.
where I pull that hose out. It. See a little late. Okay, looks great. So there you have it. All done. We'll be checking it in one hour.